Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another vintage haul. It's a massive textile haul. Lots of tablecloths and just um, there's some tote bags, there's some wall hangings, there's some pillow covers, there's blankets, there's shawls, there's like one kind of shirt jacket thing. Uh, it's just, and they're all really interesting and a lot of them I don't know too much about. Um, so, anyway, uh, these came from one of my sisters-in-law. This is, I think, this is the last bin that I have to unpack. And there's also, in the same bin, there were a few other little knickknacks and um, some jewelry, which I'll do in a different video. But I'm going to do the textiles today. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is my favorite thing out of this haul. Ta-da! It is a giant gecko beaded wall hanging. Is he not the cutest thing? And it's got a mermaid, rather naughty mermaid actually. And I think this probably came from Africa. Um, it's, it's pretty stained on the back, but the front is in great condition. And she looks ready to hang. I've never seen anything like it. No idea what the value is. Okay. I just now unpacked all of these. I have not done any research on them. But um, this is an awesome jacket. Um, I'm going to guess that this is Eastern Europe somewhere. That would be only a guess. I really don't know. Quite brightly colored. These are all individually sewn together. Little patchwork quilt style. There's the back. There's no label, of course. Nothing to tell me who made it or when. But it's interesting. Okay, there we have a nice old saltillo blanket. Um, these, these always do well. And this is an older one. You can tell by the subdued color palette. And it looks like it's in pretty darn good condition. I don't see any holes or rips in it. There's nothing obvious. And it's nice and large. So I've done very well with these saltillo blankets before, especially the old ones. And we have this, uh, which I guess is a shawl. Pretty colors. Um, I maybe I don't know where this is from actually. It doesn't quite make me think Mexico. I don't know. I've got some nice fringe. Kind of macrame fringe on it. It's cool. <laughs> this, I'm afraid, is too decrepit to sell, but it's a faux leopard skin belt, leather lined, and it's really, really tiny. And it's marked um, uh, Mark of Style Schaefer, 26. It's a tiny little belt. Um, too small even for me, and I don't know how you fasten it. It looks like it's missing something, so I think that's a loser. And then we have a huge piece of fabric. And this is the... Um, Oh, I forget what, the, what they call this weaving. I'll try and hopefully remember it and write it in so you can see. But it's, um, this has got to be hand woven, I think. And the colors are just beautiful. Um, don't know, could it be silk? It might be silk. It's awfully soft. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So shiny. 
There is just a huge amount here. Okay, then we have a really pretty tote bag or large purse. And this is kind of a patchwork. This may be, my sister-in-law may have made this herself. I don't know. I don't know. She didn't give me, there's no notes attached to any of these. But it's um, kind of lined in a white burlap sort of thing. And it's got zipper pockets on the front and the back. But these, these pieces all look so different from each other. But I think that this is one of her creations where she dipped into her bag of tricks and Put some things together, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. It doesn't quite look like her style of sewing. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask her. Okay, this is like a little uh, towel. And a large, maybe a small bath towel or a large kitchen towel. I don't know. It's got some chickens on it. And a little rooster and a heart. No clue where this came from. It's got a little stain on it. Mm. Okay. I just love this. It's so pretty. I, I'm guessing it's a scarf, maybe? Very sheer. The shades of green and the tassels on it. What do you think? Hmm? Yeah. Nails here. I'm oh, sorry, I probably should tell you there are children screaming next door. I was gonna try and wait until they weren't so noisy, but I just I have to do this now or it's not gonna get done. Okay. Uh, here's another little towel with another little bird. Uh, let's see. Got the outside showing. Yeah. Uh, a little bird. Um, this might be Mexico. Just a little little kitchen towel. And this is a tablecloth with oh this even says Mexico on it yeah a lot of this a lot of the things in this lot are from Mexico so um, come on open up open up souvenir, pretty colors. And then there are a bunch of napkins that go with it. Looks like the napkins are less faded than the tablecloth. The tablecloth is just a little bit faded, but it doesn't look so bad. Maybe the napkins were not used. Then we have another uh, tablecloth, a little tiny, like a bridge cloth. This is linen with embroidery, um, a little cross stitch, flowers, if you can see those, very sweet. Um, I don't know, where Eastern European maybe, don't know. Okay, we have a... Another saltillo style little table runner. And this one, unfortunately, has some moth holes in it. Um, sometimes these sell anyway, even in not very good condition. Especially old ones like this. So I will give it a try, even though it has some moth holes in it. The colors are really nice.
another. I guess it's a towel. You could use it to decorate a table too. It's kind of thick. Very pretty colors on this. Nice, nice, nice weaving. Now we have a, another tablecloth. Sold a few tablecloths lately, so maybe it's time to put some new ones out there. Uh, this one's... Mm, this one's got some little stains on it. I need to wash this one. Oh yeah, it's got stains on it. But it's pretty. Looks like it's woven. That's really pretty. I'm sorry about the stains. Ugh. Okay, this is a little, a little uh, textile from Africa. I'm guessing. Looks like it's a um, hand uh, batik dyed somehow. Uh, it's kind of like, it looks like mud cloth almost. It might be that. It is signed by the artist SC. Um, yeah, you could, I don't know what you could do with this. Frame it? or um, create a little pillow cover out of it. It's very sweet with little drummers. And this is it's a, it's a piece of fabric. It just needs to have the edges finished on either end. It could be a little scarf or a table cover. It's very sheer, printed. Don't know where this came from. But it's lovely. And we have another piece of fabric. And this is, oh gosh, this is nice. This is a brown silk. And it's a pretty large piece. And it's got the textured flowers on it. You can make some nice pillowcases out of this. <laughs> That's where my mind always goes. It's the only thing I really know how to sew. I never, I never learned how to sew like some of my sisters did. can make very simple things, but I don't know if you can see the, the pretty textured flowers on this, but it's a lovely piece of fabric. Okay, we have, I'm just going to check and see if this is going. Okay, it is. Sorry, just had to check. Uh, this is a nice piece of batik fabric. Uh, let's see. Does it have anything? Sometimes they have writing on the edges that tell you where it came from. Thank you. Um, it's a printed cotton. Mm, there's nothing to identify it. Shoot. But, gosh, that's beautiful. Got some birds and some flowers. Look at that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> we have a little, a little mesh bag. Who knows where this came from? Okay, this one says, 
five Fijian bark placemats and circle. So I'm just going to have to open this package so we can see what these are really. They look interesting. This is not something that I have sold before, I don't think. But here's the circle. Here's what the back looks like. Oh, there's printing on it. Museum quality, handmade, tapa, extra fine. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if there's more information on another one. Ooh, they're all different. Cool. Let's see. This one has no information on the back. I don't know if you can iron these. They're kind of wrinkledy. Hmm. Well, those are so pretty, though. Interesting. I'm going to take the rest out so you can see them. Because they're, they're different. This one's different. Just never heard of such a thing. Fijian bark placemats. Another one. And another one. There's another one. Standing too close, maybe you can't see them. I'm probably in crowding you. All right, so that is it for the Fijian placemats. We're almost done here. I have one last piece to show you, and this is a giant pillow cover, I guess. And it's um, let's see. it's got this. This is another thing that I suspect might have been made by my sister-in-law. It looks like her style of patchwork. She just sometimes combines all different kinds of textiles into these. She does tote bags and pillow covers. I think this might be one of her pillow covers. So anyway. Um, let's see. Oh, I think we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, these items are, or soon we will be for sale, in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. Or some of the fabric or things that are used to make other things will be in my craft shop, which is karenlebo.etsy.com. And um, probably by the time you see this, most of these things will be listed because I'm really behind on editing videos, sorry. Um, but anyway, I hope everybody's having a great year so far. It's getting away from us. can hardly believe it. But anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.